Hi, I'm Adam from DoNoDrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple shooting star effect in Adobe After Effects. I'm just going to create a new composition by pressing the New Composition button. And I'm fine with those settings. Now we need to create a solid. We're going to be using Particle World and to apply Particle World you need a solid to start with. So we're going to go up to Layer, New and Solid. And then make sure it's make comp size, then click OK. And now we're going to find the particle world effect. We go up to effect and then simulation, and then it's down here CC particle world. And then you'll get your particle emitter here with all the grids and everything. And if we sort of scrub along the timeline, we can see the particles being created. Now, the first thing we want to do with the shooting star effect is get some kind of movement happening. And to do that, we want to be to be moving in 3D space, but we don't want to create a this don't want to make this layer a 3D layer, which is a bit counterintuitive. But the reason why we do it this way is because we don't actually move. We've got that white solid. We don't actually move that. That stays there when that's sort of like a viewing screen into the particle world if you like and then we move the particle emitter around in this solid it's kind of weird to get your head round but you'll get there and first I'm going to I'm going to press the E key to open up the effects preset and then just open it down here and go to the producer tab open that and we have the X Y and Z positions and as you can see these can move it around quite happily and I'm just going to set it just off the screen can't see that very well there we go it's dust off screen and I'm going to set it back a little bit actually let's bring it on screen I'm going to use the Z axis and I'm just going to move it backwards but you don't want to move it too far that'll do now move it back off screen so we shall start sort of over here and then I'm going to make it zoom down here and then back across the front of the screen. So I'm going to click the stopwatch on these three parameters to set keyframes. I'm going to press the U key and that will just collapse all the other parameters apart from the ones with keyframe set. I'm going to move over about two seconds and I want it to move over here. And I'm going to move it down also move it to about zero on the screen so it's now level with the screen and then a few about a second or so later I want it to zoom across and I'm making this a little bit shorter because I want this to be faster I also want this to sort of go through the screen so I'm going to set that the Z position the other way And then we have the very simple fly through effect. But as you can see, the particles don't really look right. They kind of explode out and then they fall down. And it kind of looks a bit weird. Now, to get a an effective shooting star tail with some of the particles working as you want them to, we have to go over to the physics tab. Now, this is the same parameters that are down here but sometimes it's just easier to work with them up here. And in the physics tab, first thing we need to do is we need to change the gravity to zero. And then, as you can see, all the particles just explode out everywhere as if there is no gravity. This doesn't quite look right yet. And we need to edit the inherent velocity. If you can see that, it sort of pushes them, they explode forward if you do that which is kind of weird effect but combined with adding some resistance you can probably want the inherent velocity down a little bit you are you create it so that the particles sort of explode forwards but then get pushed backwards which makes it a darker image at the front and then tails off behind which is what we want from this effect 
as you can see here. Still looks a little bit strange. It looks very round and sharp edges, which we might not want. So we can go up to where it says extra, and we can just scale that up a little bit. It'll add a little bit of extra diversity. Although I think, the, and you can just you know play around with the resistances and these velocities to get different kind of effects. Also, this tail is fairly short, so if we go over to longevity, and we just move that up a little bit, you can sort of strengthen or shorten the tail as you as you wish. And there we have a very simple shooting star effect. A cool effect you can do with this is to have the shooting star behind some text and then shoot across in front of the text. Because of the nature of the effect having to add it to a solid, if you do this you will either have it in front of the solid or behind the solid. So I'll show you how to get around that now. So I'm just going to create some text. There's some text that we're going to get it going behind. I'll just create another text box. And we're going to get the shooting star going in front of this text. So I'm going to move this text behind the shooting star. So you see it's going behind that one and then it's going in front of that one. Which is pretty cool, but at the same time you might want the you might want it to go behind that text. And if this was all one text box, that wouldn't work. If this was all one text box, it would either be in front or behind. So what I tend to do is when the particles have gone just off screen, go to Edit, Split Layer, and it will split the particle layer into two layers. So you can drag one to the top and have one behind. So you have the first half over here behind the text, then it splits to go in front and goes in front of the text. Sometimes you won't be able to just move the text behind it now if I move this text up here, it, it will still be behind this part of the shooting star. Another tip that is very useful for when you come to export your video is to make sure you have the grid turned to off. I have to do this on both of these sections now. But if you don't do that, as I found to my dismay, you export the grid on the final video, which is very, very annoying. I've been Adam from Dunadrama.com and I've just shown you how to make a simple star effect in After Effects.